if you look at us night and day from the surgery time. Milt Williams is back on his feet after a recent knee surgery. It's given me freedom again. He's been waiting a year and a half to replace his right knee. And during that time, his left knee went out too, leaving him with debilitating pain. I have seven grandkids and I want to be able to play with them. I don't want to sit in the chair and say, oh, you look like you're having fun. I want to get down on my hands and knees and play with my grandkids. With limited mobility and no surgery date in sight, he needed a faster solution. He made the tough choice to go to Montreal for a private surgery. It wasn't cheap, it was expensive, but you know, it ate my, my savings accounts for sure for my retirement. But he's grateful it was even an option. He knows for many people it's not. And then I thought about people who can't afford that either, right? My heart goes out to them because when you're in pain and you can't move and you're not mobile, there's not much you can do in life really. Williams is still waiting for surgery on his other knee at the Red Deer Hospital. He's been told it could take another two years, a four-year wait in total. It's not just surgical wait times making headlines. The Red Deer Hospital has been plagued by staffing issues, patient complaints, and long wait times, and is currently overdue for an expansion. Last year, a patient died in the ER while awaiting care. Wait times had soared to an average of 14 hours. The issues in Red Deer are happening across the province. Resources are limited, staffing shortages are common, and the pandemic only made things worse. If you need it, you're gonna find out. Diane Adkins went to a walk-in clinic last December. It's like stomach flu. It was all over churning and everything else. After a three-hour wait, they sent her to the ER with a suspected burst appendix. There, she waited another five hours before being admitted. Lots of people have had longer waits in the ER. There's been wait times 9, 10, 12 hours, even more. I think this one is too dark. She spent 10 days in the hospital and was then sent home to wait for surgery. She's trying to live a normal life in the meantime. You know, I'm carrying on, but that's the thing. Because of fun fact, it can rupture again. So it's always kind of there. It's in the back of your mind. Her surgery is now scheduled for June. We're probably somewhere between 150 and 200 beds short in our hospital right now. Dr. Keith Wollstenholm is an orthopedic surgeon. He and other doctors formed a group to push for a hospital expansion. Thank you so much for coming to the Sheka Town Hall. They've been advocating since the provincial government removed it from the priority list in 2016. What we had 20 years ago was probably fine to serve our needs, but as more and more people have moved into the area, it makes it difficult on many levels for patient care, both the acute patient who rolls in through the emergency department, but also the you know elective patient who's waiting for scheduled surgery. While Albertans wait. Today I'm pleased to announce the United Conservative Public Health Care Guarantee. Politicians debate how to fix the issues. It means health care that is there for the public. And that leaves many Albertans anxious for what comes next. The blame for this extends across both current parties and the pre-existing party and Alberta Health Services and everybody who's had a stake up to this point I think has blame to share for this. I do think it's number one issue for me. We're trying to gather as much information from the candidates as we can before the voting day. And that's important to me to interact with my grandchildren. This is one of the main reasons I got my knee done. Milt Williams doesn't care too much about blame. He just wants solutions. It's not a political issue. Both parties, the NDP and the UCP, should get together and work together on this and back each other. Instead of saying, we'll do this, we'll do that. No, work together. Do something for the area together. Taylor Lambert, CBC News, Red Deer.